We are going to learn today how to calculate the level of electoral disproportionality in a country. In particular, we are going to learn how to calculate Gallagher index of electoral disproportionality or Gallagher less square index. Here you have the formula. We need to look at the different steps in order to have a final score of electoral disproportionality in a country. The first thing we need is the percentage of votes that we have here and the percentage of seats. Usually, when we look at electoral results, we will get the number of seats. That's why we need first to calculate the percentage of seats per party. For that, we need to divide the number of seats of every single party by the total number of seats in Parliament and multiply by 100. Once we have done that for every single party, we just check that we have done the right calculations and the results obviously should be 100. We need, as I said, first to look then at the difference between the percentage of votes and the percentage of seats. This is what we are doing now. So the percentage of votes for the first party minus the percentage of seats. And we do this for every single party, okay? Don't do for the total number of seats. That's why we put it in bold in order to realize. So we have the difference between the percentage of both the percentage of seats for every party. We have to square this difference. So we are going to do that. F2 multiply F2 for every single party. Then we need to look at the sum of all these squares and we do it like that we use the formula the sum we have the total sum then we need to divide the sum by two so we basically go and do g8 divided by two and finally we need to calculate the square of this number the square of the division of the sum of the squares of the difference of the, 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 the percentage of votes and percentage of seats. So we look at the square root. So we use the formula for the square root and the number we had. So this is the final score. This is the level of this electoral disproportionality in Kazakhstan. Let's try to do the same with an African democracy in Niger, okay? So we have the formula, we plug it here, and we do the same operation. We have the percentage of votes, but we need the percentage of seats. So the first thing is to calculate the percentage of seats. For that, we do the number of seats per party, divided the number of total seats in Parliament multiplied by 100, okay? So we have for every single party, okay? And we see that is a total of 100. So we know that we have done the calculations uh, accurately. We need first to calculate the difference between the percentage of votes and the percentage of seats. This is what we are doing right now. So B2 minus D2, okay, for every single party. Once we have done that, we need to square this difference, okay, sorry, square this difference. And we do that by the following operation, F2 multiply F2 for every single party. Once we have done the square of the difference of percentage of vote and percentage of seats, we have to add all these numbers scores up. So we do like that. Divide this result by 2. So we have E35 divided by 2. And finally, calculate the square root of that number. 
6.3, while in Kazakhstan the electoral disproportionality was basically 3%. The result is that Niger has a more disproportional electoral system than Kazakhstan.